Hello everybody, Becky here at Aunt Beck's Creations and I just came on really quick to share a thrift haul, Goodwill haul, that uh, Scott and I did yesterday and I found a Scrabble game for $1.99 and all I want out of it are the game pieces. So I want to make sure they're in here. You know, at Goodwill, they tape everything up so you can't get in it. And you know, we all like the, the game pieces to add to projects. So, and then I can use the game board maybe as a cover. So let's see if I've got the pieces. Well, oh, ooh. Yes, and they're all in this bag. So that's storage for them. So yay, I've got the pieces. And then these I could do something with. I'm not too worried about the rules because I'm not going to keep those. I'm not keeping the plastic. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not going to keep that. And the board could be made, used as a cover. I could also use the box, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pitch it. I'm trying not to hold on to absolutely everything when I thrift. You know, if there's a component in it that I want, that's what I'm going to get. And I'm going to turn this over and utilize it as a background for you guys now. So it looks like all of the letters are here. And sorry about the clash of that wood there. Yep. So see, I can write out words now with uh, Scrabble tiles, all right? Then I got these for 49 cents. I like the little container, but it had the dividers in, in it for one of the plastic trays. But I thought, how cool would these be as components for Mary's journal, her transparent journal. So I might stick some of these in an envelope and send them to Mary to see what she can do with them. And um, I might do up some um, goodie kits for the others that said they're going to do a transparent journal too. These are not really transparent, more translucent. So we'll see. We'll see what they can come up with. Then I saw these. four sets. They are um, Ikea cabinet handles. And when we get a new house again, if Scott builds cabinets in his shop like he's discussed, or if I get cabinets built for my room, these would be lovely handles, you know, on cabinet doors. And they were 99 cents for two, four, six, eight. So I got Basically, each handle was like 50 cents. So I'm going to put these back in a bag that Scott can take and um, we can put them up somewhere. So that, oh, that one was marked $1.49. That one's $99. That's $99. That's $99. So it'd be interesting to find out what she charged me. Oh well. And then here's some more knobs. This was a set of knobs. Um, Scott's always, you know, he keeps the knobs and stuff because occasionally he uses them on something he's working on or a project we've come up with together. So we got six knobs here for $1.99. I'll put those with the other one. And then I got these for 99 cents. And these are doll components, and it's the, the head and shoulders and the hands. And then you get a cloth doll pattern, and you make a cloth dolly out of these. So for 99 cents, I got it one, two, four, four heads and arm sets. So I'll do something with those. 
they got cute little faces. Look at these two are larger. I got two larger ones and two smaller ones. Isn't that neat? All four of them were 99 cents and they came from, it says Michael's for $4 from 1996. Because I know when I worked there, we didn't sell doll things anymore. Scott has gotten to where he looks for things for me. This is a deck of cards with the lighthouses of Maine on them. And he said, that, wouldn't that be fun? But see, it's on the face of them. So like, there's a lighthouse. Isn't this neat? And what I can do is just use the images of the lighthouse. The backs of the cards are kind of neat too. But of course, you know, that's all the same because it's a functioning deck of cards. So I'll just go through and probably just cut out the lighthouses and put them in a small bag that I can use on projects. Maybe stick in Happy Mail. And those were 99 cents. And then these were 99 cents and they're instant read thermometers, two of them for 99 cents. Never been opened from Bakers and Chef company. And then the last thing we picked up is this vintage corn stick um, bread pan. It needs to be thrown in a fire to burn out all that uh, residue that's in there because that's how you clean them up when they've got a bunch of stuff. If you just throw them into an active fire, it burns all that down. After it cools off a bit, you can take it out, heat it up, and oil it up, and re, um, what's it called? Season. You have to season these. But this one, he said, is a vintage one. He found a mark on it somewhere. But we paid uh, $2.49 for it. So anyway, he was talking about listing it on eBay. I don't think he understood the maybe the, the shipping cost would be high, but we'll see. We're toying with the idea of trying to list some things we find on eBay to see how we do. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.